It has been five months since the first baby shark hatched here at the Pier Aquarium in St. Petersburg, Florida. Now the aquarium displays a whole family of coral cat sharks, a small variety of sharks that grows to only two feet in length. They're a nocturnal species that populates the Pacific Ocean. The process starts with a pregnant mother that produces one to two eggs per month for about four months at a time. The eggs are immediately collected and put in the baby shark tank where sharks will stay until they are big enough to live amongst the adults. Uh, what you're looking at, the, uh, the round area in the egg is the uh, yolk sac and then in a minute you'll probably see the embryo starting to wiggle around. It's actually a little line just above the yolk sac. The one up front is sleeping right now so it's not moving around all that much. It's interesting to watch. It's sort of like who's here when they lay an egg, who gets to see it, who gets to take care of them. And it's just interesting because we're trying something new. It's been quite an attraction here because uh, having something reproduce in our tanks is quite a big deal, and especially if it's a shark. They grow all the time. All the time. Sometimes you think the small, I used to think that the medium sized one was still the bait, or what, the small one was like a baby, the medium sized one, but they grow all the time. Um, transformations in eating, transformations in fear level, changes all the time. But the sharks are still kept separate from the adults in another tank until they get big enough to fend for themselves. Sometimes the young ones can't wait to hang out with the adults. Every now and again the little uh, baby sharks will get excited when the lid is open and they'll jump into the main tank and swim around and have their freedom for a little bit. But we quickly grab them and put them back in because there's a chance that the adults may eat the babies because they are small enough and since they have no relationship with their parents, the parents will see them as food just like anything else. Beginning one week after hatching, the baby sharks are fed live to go shrimp. Later in life, the sharks are target-fed frozen food. Guests are encouraged to participate. The coral cat shark population is the aquarium's main priority. The aquarium breeds sharks to give to other facilities, allowing them to avoid fishing for new sharks. Overfishing and habitat destruction are rapidly decreasing the coral cat shark population. As it does take a while for them to reach sexual maturity, their population is easily vulnerable. 